related to finding foods for health. So we want to improve a lot of the chronic conditions that are like a plague for our society, inflammatory disease, even cancer, HIV, and we know that the human microbiota, which is the hundred trillions of bacteria we have in our stomach, in our belly, they're very important. So we're looking for a target to be able to modify and improve human health. Well, we found human milk, and at UC Davis, a lot of researchers have really deconstructed the code of human milk to understand at the molecular level the small, small, low abundant molecules that are so important for the protection of the newborn. So human milk is like the first functional food, it's a great model, but how do we translate all that knowledge? And this is when we had the idea to look into agricultural streams. So we looked first at bovine milk, and then we found that these same molecules, they're called oligosaccharides, they're complex carbohydrates, they feed the good bacteria in the gut, and these oligosaccharides are also found in cheese whey. Cheese whey is a byproduct of cheese production, and Brazil is producing 3 million tons of cheese whey every year. So there is a great potential for reutilization and reclaiming this molecule from the cheese whey permeate. This will improve the sustainability of the dairy industry and it will create a new generation of ingredients that have the potential to improve human health, not only for babies, but also for adults and elderly, for everybody who has a chronic inflammatory condition that has something to do with the dysbiota. We have a grant sponsored by the Gates Foundation where we are looking at improving, um, you know, decreasing the, the diarrhea in infants in Africa because diarrhea is a huge problem and it's linked to the bacteria in the gut. So if we could find the natural uh, interventions which are not antibiotic that could decrease the diarrhea, it would be a great success.